welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube. And in today's video, we're gonna have a nice chitty chatty get ready with me skincare edition. And once again, I have a very special guest, skincare with Sash. She's an editorial makeup artist, skincare influencer, a mama of two sweet little girls under five. So we're gonna be talking about how we fit our skincare routines in. Me as someone, you know, I feel like I'm a child myself still. I have no attention span. I'm very busy, got a lot of stuff going on. And as her, as someone who is a working mom of two little girls, how we're able to fit our skincare routines in. So keep watching. I have some eye patches. Uh huh. Because your girl needs all the help. And then <laughs> I couldn't decide which mask to do. I have this one from Tatcha and the Pharmacy Honey Potion. Yes. So, I mean, if you want to choose one of these for me to do, the Tatcha. Okay. But yeah, so basically, you know, after I had my first daughter, I was going through some skin issues and I was on maternity leave and, you know, I'm a creative person and with being stuck at home, I mean, not stuck in a bad way, like please don't mm -hmm. want to come for me, um, but after you know, <laughs> being at home and not being able to like go out and do my work and stuff as a makeup artist. Um, it was getting to me. I was getting really down, you know, and um, I was scrolling through Instagram at three in the morning and I came across, you know, like a, a skincare bloggers page mm -hmm. and she was basically just documenting her skincare routines so that she could remember what she used and what her results were. And, stuff like that. and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do that. Yeah. You know, I was like, I need to do that. But of course, because you know, I'm a makeup artist and I do editorials and stuff and I'm extra. It had to be extra. <laughs> and guys, when I tell you her page is extra, but in such a great way. <laughs> but yeah, so I, you know, I actually, at the time I didn't really have a skincare routine. I had like specific products that I use, but they, you know, they, they weren't in union and because I was breastfeeding and stuff, you know, there, there's a limitation on mm -hmm. most of what, you know, you can use. So, yeah. So, you know, I just started that way. And then, of course, to to feed my creative spirit, you know, I, I add a lot to the visuals and stuff like that. And I'm asking this for the audience because I, I think I already know the answer. Would you say you're a skincare minimalist when it comes to your routine or a maximalist? Maximalist. Sometimes that's just what it has to be. You know, like with the girls and stuff, I have, you know, um, a lazy routine. After I had um, my second, all I was using was a vitamin C serum. I wasn't even washing my face. Mm -hmm. right and it's funny um my skin looked really nice and i said that was my clinical testing and my clinical trial for that right serum, you know right, right. um but you know sometimes you you just do do what you have to do and i think that you should always try and do something mm -hmm. especially as a mom we do so much that's not for ourselves and i Personally, you know, like I don't really want to be a martyr. You know, I know a lot of moms end up that way because of the circumstances, but I was never that way. And I, and I just, I know that I just wouldn't be happy being mm -hmm. that way. And yep. if you're not happy, then you can't be a good mom. You know, I know a lot of people make fun of us and the whole self care movement, mm -hmm. um, pairing it with vanity, but it's, you know, some people can't get to therapy. Some people can't get to exercise, you know, the other options. So if you can do a face mask, a sheet mask, you know, and then you look in the mirror and, and 
you know, oh yeah, so you feel good for the rest of the day, then do it. I'm more of a skincare minimalist though. Um, I mean, there are some times where it does require me to have additional steps in my routine because, you know, something yeah. different may happen. Like for instance, I have this big bumple on my, on my nose, bumple, yeah. like big ass pimple. I don't, you know, obviously I don't have children. I've got, you know, a lot of stuff going on. I have no attention span. I feel like I'm a child myself. But for me, the way that I find time in my skincare routine is that I kind of make it part of my day. Like yeah. my skincare products are very close to where I keep my toothbrush because yeah. I'm not going to skip brushing my teeth in the morning or at yeah. night, you know? Yeah. So I keep my products near, you know, in an easy place that I can just kind of grab them. Yeah. And for me, as much as I love skincare products, if I'm like coming back from a party, which, you know, remember when we used to be able to go outside and party? I was about to say. <laughs> I remember those days, and I'm and I'm acting as if even when we could go outside, I've been going to parties. It's a lot, and sometimes I'm really tired. But even at my, even when I'm the most tired, I've trained myself through my routine that yeah. Well, you your head hits that pillow, honey. At least go wash off. your face, put some moisturizer on. Um. I was gonna say sometimes I have to stomp my foot. I mean, listen, mommy needs her time right now. Please go downstairs. Your dog right, right. Is right there. He can get you apple juice. Sometimes I try to split it up. Yeah. You know, like I, I start my routine, then we go, we get breakfast, stuff like that, while they're not looking. But then like I'd come back, do a serum, you know, then break up a fight, clean up a mess, then add a little moisturizer to it. So I try to um, use products that are easily cocktail together because I don't mm -hmm. have the time for this. I read all the time. People say, oh, I wait five, ten minutes in between each steps. And I'm like, how? <laughs> <laughs> how? Like, at this point, all of my products become one. Like, I put one on, put another on, you know? Um, I will say, though, that starting my YouTube has helped when I have to do, like, skincare routines. Because I'm like, no, 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 I'm working. So they're like, oh, okay, you know? Yeah. I, I think for me, at minimum, the things that I will always do is cleanse and use a serum. I might skip moisturizer. Um, well, and if I'm going out, SPF. Yeah, yeah. so definitely like cleansing and um, a serum that has like treatments and hydration in it because it's like mm -hmm. a two-in-one. Yeah. You know, type the way it feels on my skin. Um, and I'm oily acne prone too. Mm -hmm. So even though I'm a maximalist with skincare, it's all usually very light layers, you know, cause I can't do anything too overly heavy and stuff like that. Cause that's right. just going to cause issues. I, mean, I know that there are some people who are able to schedule things. I'm unable to schedule my Oof. children. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I personally feel like anyone that tells me, Oh, I just put my kid to bed. They're sleeping. I think you're lying because mine just don't. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> Mommy? Yes? I want to come to. You want to come to? I want to play. I want to stay with you. Mommy? Yes? Me. I want to paint with on my face. You want to paint with on your face? I always say, like, these girls are going to have the best mm -hmm. skin before they hit first grade. Well, I'm guessing one of the, another tip would be to kind of incorporate the children into your skincare routine. Except then your expensive products go missing. So I'm going to try this Shiseido treatment softener i really hope that this is not full of fragrance it might but i have be. a feeling it's gonna be if i can open it it might be i'm doing some more of the essence oh it's not too bad let me get it on my skin first though so i bought some stuff from ulta and they gave me a huge bag of deluxe samples and it just made me realize even more why people love Ulta more than Sephora. I ordered maybe $40, $50 worth of stuff, and they literally gave me, I don't have the bag in here, but it was a sizable bag. It was probably about this big. 
Wow. With deluxe samples in it. It would have to be at least like eight or nine deluxe samples. Because with okay. Sephora, I, I would have had to spend $800 to be able to get all of that stuff. And then there would have been like, here you go. Thanks for shopping with this. Right. <laughs> So now I'm gonna put the Belief True Aqua Bomb, which I love this. Um, I don't love the fragrance, but I figured, you know what? This was also in that sample bag from Ulta. I'm gonna do a little glycolic toner. Ooh, pixie, yeah. Um, I was using this, but it's finished. How'd you like that? I've been wanting to try that for years. So finished. Oh my it's God. It's still on my desk, guys. But you know what, though? Um, I need a new source to purchase from. Yeah. Um, but I did like it. I saw results. I found that close to the end, I wasn't seeing that much. But I heard that usually that's because you need to kind of up your Oh, go up to the stronger one. Yeah. But I can't use that when breastfeeding. So hopefully I'll be done when my mobile is done so then i can just order like just a stronger one i'm using the dermalogica dynamic skin recovery spf 50. um mm -hmm. i only looked at the front <laughs> again this was in that big bag of samples so i only looked at the front so i thought this was just a regular just straight up spf but i turned to the back and see that it's an spf moisturizer so i probably didn't need the aqua bomb but let's see and the aqua bomb is pretty light too it's very light um, and also, I'm not going outside today, so if it's too much, I can just <laughs> rinse it off or whatever that I want to do. outside. <laughs> I'm going to use this little biology sample. Ooh. This is the Cream Dermo RL. This does not smell good. Uh-oh. Well, I like this so far. I have... Issues with sensitivities with SPF. That's why I'm mm. kind of like, I know it's important and I wear it, but... Do you have any mineral sunscreens that you like? I tested a few because that's technically what I need to use. Mm. But what's happening is they're trying their best to make the formulas a little more elegant. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, they're adding a lot of oils. Mm. So I, I've been getting like really cyst like breakouts from them. Oh, man. And it's like, there's not even anything in the breakouts. It's just like swelling. Yeah. You know, so it's just stuff getting stuck in my pores. So right now I've been okay with the combination of a mineral and chemical sunscreen. Um, these are the two that I mostly use right now. The Tatcha one. Mm-hmm. And this one by PCA, PCA. Weightless. Yeah. So they're both zinc oxide. This one is oxytone, and this one is octisalate. So yeah, this was amazing. Yes. You guys, make sure you follow Asaj. I will have all her information in the description box. So make sure you check her out. Check out her channel. Check her out on Instagram. Because listen, on Instagram, she's going to be on some... <laughs> But skincare. Skincare, but make it couture. <laughs> so whether you're a skincare minimalist or a skincare maximalist, hopefully you found some tips in here on how to sneak your skincare routine in when you are very busy, booked, and blessed. Make sure you check me out, because you know when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm elsewhere on the internet spreading my cheer. The links to follow me will also be in the description box. Where you can buy some of the products that were mentioned in this video, you'll also see those in the description box as well. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.